And over the years, we've had LHRH agonists coming in different formulations, you know, really started back from daily to monthly to every three months, every four months, six months, and even annually. Uh, those LHRH agonists can be given uh, subcutaneously or intramuscularly. And then we have an antagonist that was approved that is also given subcutaneously on a monthly basis. And now uh, patients and physicians will have an, potentially an option of a once a day pill given uh, with or without food um, orally. So I, I think that gives an, a, a, a great opportunity to be thinking about flexibility in terms of administration of a testosterone suppressive medication. Um, on top of that convenience, so that patients don't have to come into clinic uh, on a regular basis and all the attendant issues with that, especially given some consideration now given the uh, COVID pandemic and in terms of safety and convenience for patients, but also we need to recognize the, the, the cardiovascular safety associated with this phase three trial. We've had reviews of this over the years. In 2011, the FDA put a, a warning on the LHRH agonist regarding the cardiovascular toxicity issues. 